Okay, previously on Lost, just kidding, <laughs> we um, we removed the logos from this tire in preparation to send it up to uh, iStock Photo. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take off the markings on this electrical box in, for the same reason. Just I don't think that it's going to be an issue, or it would be an issue, as far as... Um, being a royalty free stock image. I just think that uh, it's better safe than sorry. I don't think they add anything to the image and I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool, grab a square down here, and make sure we're on the background layer. And I am going to press Control J. This is going to duplicate that selection onto its own layer from the background layer. I'm going to go Control T to bring up the free transform tool and let's see right click on that and flip horizontal that doesn't work we're gonna control Z out of that maybe just pull it a little bit just give it a little bit of distortion I do that just so that it doesn't mimic as easily what was over here um, not that it would really be seen anyway because we're going to alt click on the add a layer mask brings up a um, filled in layer mask we are going to Press B for the brush button, D to bring us to the default colors, white is our foreground color. Now as we paint onto this mask, making sure that the mask is highlighted and not the layer, the mask is highlighted. As we paint onto that mask, it is going to um, reveal the little patch that we have stuck there. And that's all we're going to do. Not going to get crazy with, um, with staying inside of any kind of lines or anything. It was close enough to the area that we are painting over onto so that um, our tones and whatnot are close enough so you can't see it. We're going to come over here, do the same thing, reselect the background layer, lasso, grab a section from right over here, control J to duplicate that up onto its own layer, and then I'm going to control T, bring it over here and uh, just spread it out a little bit spread it enter and again the only reason I'm doing that is just to try and change the look of this slightly so that we we kinda reduce our risk of um, having it look like it was cloned in uh, alt click on the layer mask gives us a fully black layer brush and we are already on white for the foreground color and paint away and just a nice big soft edge brush just where we need it bam done control minus to back out and if I shut these two layers off click on the eyeball and then drag down it shuts off every single one that we go across and that's what we have and same thing going back up it lets us uh, see what we've done so now I've removed those and that's it it's almost ready to go up uh, to iStock